Shalom, brothers and sisters. There's an important thing that I love to talk about and I keep mentioning and I keep pushing as well is we should praise God. We should share testimonies. There's power in testimonies. We should give praise reports. And why is this? There's two Psalms here and I'm going to take a few verses from each just to show you something. The first one is Psalm 92 verse 1 and 2. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. From the morning to the evening, from when I lift my head and wake till when I lay my head down and sleep, He is faithful. He is giving me His loving kindness. He is God. He is ever present. He is ever working. He is making a way. He is finding solutions. He is guiding. He is protecting. He is shielding us. He is covering us. He is with us even unto the end of the age. Why should there be a reason that we need for us to sing His praises and sing of His glory for all that He does that we do not deserve? Because He is such an awesome God. It never ceases. The thoughts He have of us is so wonderful, we cannot even comprehend it. Psalm 94, go to verse 17 to 19. Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul would have settled in silence. If I say, my foot slips, your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comforts delight my soul. What a perfect explanation of what we as humans experience all the time. Unless the Lord had been our help. And sometimes when we're going through the crisis and the problems and the insurmountable mountains ahead of us, we see those. We're filled with anxieties. We see our foot slipping. But God, unless the Lord had been my help. Afterwards, we sing of his praises. We testify of his power and glory. Why? Because everybody needs to know, unless the Lord had been my help, my soul would have settled in silence. If I say, my foot slips, your mercy will hold me up, Lord. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comforts delight my soul. There's nothing more special than when you're in a situation and you're struggling, you're facing something huge, you, you have the anxiety, you, you, you almost at a panic sometimes, and you bring it to the Lord and you feel His presence. That is His comfort. And you feel him just touching you and he says, I've got this. Shh. Be still and know that I am God. We need to remind ourselves sometimes, unfortunately, while we're still in these decaying bodies before we change. That he is God, God most high, not a God, not an optional God, the one and only all powerful God of all creation and all things, none beside him. That is who he is. And he loves you. God bless. And shalom.